Hello Makeup Void, I'm the Makeup Schizophrenic and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we have a lot of eyeshadow palettes, so once a month I like to sit down and recap all of the looks I created with the palettes I picked out for the month. Just kind of do micro reviews on everything and I did purchase three palettes in July. So yeah, three palettes and I'm only doing reviews on two of them because I'm still working on one and so the palette that I used today will be coming in a future video but I got the Fancy Cosmetic Cosmetica Warrior Palette. So that's on my eyes today. I do plan on doing a three looks, one palette plus a review. So I filmed this look for that. You'll see it eventually. I filmed a lot of videos in July. <laughs> But you haven't seen a upload since probably this last video. I can give you excuse upon excuse, camera issues, laptop issues, laziness, a lot of things. So if you're into all this, hello, let's go ahead and get rolling. All right, so I do have a pan in a palette. I do, it's, it's, not really impressive, but the Party in Puerto Rico palette from BH Cosmetics, I use this shade Castillo in my brows every single day, so of course I hit pan on it. It's still an eyeshadow pan, okay? I still hit pan and eyeshadow. This is the only pan, I think this is the only eyeshadow pan I have gotten this year. So I am not a project panner anymore. I am debating kind of doing another project pan, kind of, but I also sort of tried doing something this month and I realized I hated it so uh, maybe I'll do a project pan in the future but for now I hit pan and eyeshadow and if I do a project pan in the future it won't be eyeshadow <laughs> because I cannot. Okay so here's the deal. I take pictures of every single eyeshadow look that I do and then towards the end of the month I start making collages of like you see the pictures where I have like my eyes open so you see and look and my eyes looking down so you can see that. And for some reason, I can't find every single picture. Every month I try to do this and every month I fail and I'm like, where are all these pictures going? I take pictures of every single eyeshadow look I do. What is going on? I don't know. So let's start off with the Odin's Eye Sea Talk palette. I used this palette two times, but I can only find a look where I, I can only, was it? Yeah, so I did a look with kind of like the blues and the yellow, and then I did a neutral look with this side of the palette, and I can't find that pictures or those pictures, so I don't know what happened to that. And the look I did with the blues in here, I actually used the Moira Liquid Shadow in the shade Superstar, and I, in my previous video talking about these things, I mentioned I got a lot of products from Moira, and I am not a fan of the products. I am only a fan of really one of them or a few of them. So the liquid shadows were kind of a buzz for me, but this palette's beautiful. Um, I definitely did not need that liquid shadow to do the blue look. I just, I did the blue and then I kept layering other of these shadows on top to where you couldn't really see that liquid shadow to begin with. But really special palette, really cute, sparkly. I don't think I used iridescent shell once. And then my brain is like, you should keep out this palette for another round, but I only used this palette two times, and we're just going to put it away. We have to play with more palettes in my collection. We have to play with more. So, a palette that I only used once is the Tarte Tarlet Juicy Palette. I brought this out for July because it's a palette that I got for my birthday a few months back, or a few years back, and... I, I'm just not a fan of this palette. The mattes are impeccable. The mattes are so good. The shimmers in here are mediocre at best. They're just, they're fine. They're just fine. And I don't really reach into a palette strictly for the mattes. So I really need the shimmers to stand out and give me a lot of impact, a lot of oomph. And this palette just doesn't bring it. Am I ever going to declutter it? Absolutely freaking not. Of course, since I got it for my birthday, of course, I'm going to hang on to it. It still smells like vanilla. It smells so good so I'm gonna keep it around for that and when I see this palette in my collection it does make me really happy I do feel like a clown that I purchased it but only use this palette once who is surprised so I bought let's save the two palettes that I got for last even though I showed you one of them but it was like the very end of the month so Teresa is dead palette again it was another like I got this for my birthday palette and this 
I only used once. Who is surprised? Who is surprised? I only used this once. But I did create a very fun look. So I focused on body snatch. I went a little bit into predator. I and then straight to VHS. That was kind of like the emphasis of the look I used for it. I really did want to do a look focusing on this maroon shade and this pink shade up here. I just didn't get around to it. I got really overwhelmed with buying new palettes and trying to test them out, doing three looks, one palette videos this month. So I just, I didn't have time to play with this as much. And it's not something that's like, oh, I should keep around for another month to get more use out of it. No, I'm just gonna put it away and move on with my life. The big palette, the palette that I used the most in July is the Kaleidos Club Nebula palette with Angelica Neve Kissed. Ugh. Okay, so I hate the packaging on this. I think it's way too big and way too bulky, but I love this palette. It is so good. Now, one of the looks I did, I focused on this bottom row with the orange and the red, and I liked it, but it also screamed 2021 Kayla to me. Like, it just seemed like a lot. Like, this year, I have really simplified my eyeshadow looks, and this was just like another era of time for me. So I didn't love it as much as I have in the past. I mean, the quality is still 10 out of 10 amazing. Like it's nothing digging on the quality, but it was just reminiscence of who I was and not who I am now. So I did do a look, which I liked a lot with Firefly. So I used my AF94 black base and then I put Firefly on top of all of that. And it was such a sparkly, beautiful moment for my brow bone. I took the shade Nova for the inner corner and for the brow bone. It contrasted a lot with Firefly, but I still really liked it. It was a really fun look. And I can't remember the other looks I did with this, but I know I tapped into like the green, the the lime green ones. I used Astro. Yeah, that's the name. The, it's supposed to be a multi-chrome. I don't think it's a multi-chrome. That's what they were saying. I don't like if you tip the palette, like you don't see the shift whatsoever. So I don't really believe that for one bit, but it's a stellar palette. I just hate the packaging. Ugh, it's so big and it's so bulky. And for me and my limited makeup space for storage, it just does not do well. Next up, we have the Norns palette by Odin's Eye. I'm trying to look. Did I only use this palette once? I think I only used this palette once. Uh, July was a bad month for creating looks. But for this palette, I folk I thought I used this look twice. Maybe only have one picture to show you. Like I say, I take pictures of every single look I do, and then I go back and try to recap, and I'm like, I am missing pictures. What, what did I accidentally skip? I don't know. But the look that you should have a picture of, I use, where is it? Well, that's not good. All of my shadow sticks are supposed to be in here. Oh, here it is. So for this look, I use my Elf No But Shadow Stick in the shade Rich Amethyst. And I think I took self, which I do have pan on, my last project pan, I hit pan on it. So I put, so I used Rich Amethyst as a base, threw self all over it. I might have used like another shadow to deepen things up. I think I tried using Peak Chameleon as an inner corner highlight. It is a white shadow, but there's a lot of red and orange shifts in it. So it doesn't, again, it's like, it doesn't really pair well with self or these shadows down here. I think I did try using Hallucination, kind of like on the outer corner a little bit for that look, but this is not my favorite palette. They did revamp it, change the packaging to, or they changed the pan sizes to where it's more consistent with their palettes that have been coming out as of late. And part of my brain is like, maybe you should pick up the newer version and see if it's any different. Maybe you'll like it more. No, I'm just gonna stick with this. I'm just gonna stick with this. I mostly focus on self. I love self, it's so good. The mattes in here are fine. They're not, they're not my favorite. This is not my favorite palette. But first, in terms of simple, one shadow looks with a nice pigmented base underneath. I do really enjoy this palette for that, but it can go back away. It, it, it can go back into hiding. Okay, so the other two palettes that I got in July, 
Again, I filmed three looks, one palette with these palettes. They should be coming up in August if I can convince myself to get my life together and start editing besides this video because this video I'm like absolutely needs to come up in August. If I only upload one video a month, it's going to be this video. So Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Palette. I think all the Huda Beauty palettes were on sale like early July from Sephora, but this was on my loves list and Sephora was like, hey, this palette's half off. You want to get it? And I was like, yes, I do. Yes, I do want to get it. And I really enjoyed this palette. This palette was so much fun to use. I can't wait to show you the three looks I did with it. I might be including the pictures in this video just kind of as a spoiler, but in that video that will be upcoming, you'll be able to see how I make all the looks, but this is a great palette. So I think I used this palette four times in July. Um, I had a morning where I really wanted to use the palette, but I was so tired I couldn't keep my eyes open. So, it, like, if I'm, like, that tired in the mornings, I cannot film my shadow looks. I just can't. It's not going to happen. So, for that look, I think I focused on Blissful right here. And then I dipped into probably Happiness for that look. Keep it, like, really basic and simple. So this is the other palette. I love the super sparkly shades in here. I didn't use every single shadow in this palette. I'm trying to think. Maybe I used Abundance. I don't remember. Maybe. I used Cosmic Love for sure. I love Cosmic Love. Cosmic Love and Blissful and Moon Magic. Oh my gosh, they're stellar. I don't know if I went into the shade Quartz. I'm not sure if I did. I wanted to, but I don't think I did. And then Self Love, I only used as an inner corner. And I wanted to put that all over the lid, but I just didn't get around to using this. But like I'm going to say in that review video, I don't think this is worth $70. And the mats are fantastic. But overall, I don't think it's a $70 palette. The fact that I picked this up for $34.50, much better. Much better price. So... If you can get this palette on sale, I know Huda Beauty will do sales a lot on their website, Sephora. Sephora puts Huda Beauty palettes on sale at least once a year. At least once a year and get a good discount on them. So I'm happy I got a discount on this palette. I would have not picked it up for full price, but for half price? Hell yeah. Really enjoyed this. It was really good. I did have a lot of fun with it, even though it wasn't the most, like, phenomenal eye-catching I mean there's still some really good qualities of that palette but yeah I don't know you'll probably see that video that palette come like next February <laughs> and I'll be like it's like a pound of pink and purples I want to bring it out so this next palette I'm late to the game on I understand that and I also don't care because I even debated waiting on picking up this palette later but this is Natasha Denona Yucca palette and again really pretty really solid palette i struggled with the cream to matte or cream to powder shadows i always do with tasha denona it's not my favorite formula i just struggle with it a lot but let's talk about the shade plantasia this i don't do swatches in these videos but let's just do a nice hefty swatch of this is that not the most insane so insane so intense this other shadow that I don't know how to pronounce right here also very pretty and I used this shade on top of Tin Pan Alley to create like a one and done eyeshadow look and it's so close to which I think wait this one I swatched so let's actually let's do a little bit of swatching and I coped it up with my finger and I cut into a shadow. So let's press that back in. So let, let's just play around with a little bit. So Tin Pan Alley is probably my favorite liquid shadow of all time. So there it is. It's super sparkly and bold and I always make a mess out of this. I actually removed the stopper out of this and then I bought it back up because I love this so much. So here's Tin Pan Alley on its own and here is Plantasia on its own so yeah they're pretty freaking similar and then if I go into Plantasia and put it over Tin Pan Alley oh Tin Pan Alley was still wet ah! okay let's go into another finger but I guess I apply it over wet you see that a little bit I don't 
I don't know. Trying to pack it on nicely. So they're similar enough with Tim Pan Alley underneath. So I didn't get the full effect of this shadow with Tim Pan Alley, but it's still really pretty. I mean, I adore this palette. And let's just watch the other. Um, Komarebi? Yeah, that's it right here. Another super pretty, super sparkly shadow. So really enjoyed this palette. I uh, kind of also wish I waited for a discount on it, and but it is what it is. It's really fun, it's really sparkly, and now let's get into the palettes that I'm going to be reaching into for the next month, and we are going with Chaos because we are going to randomize all of the palettes for the month of August. So we're just gonna go into a random spinning wheel and we're gonna pick things at random. Okay, so I added a few more palettes in here. Again, this is probably not my full collection, but let's go ahead and spin the wheel. So I am only going to spin for four palettes because I have the fighter palette to focus on and then, oh, Juvie's Place Zulu palette, okay. So that's gonna be fun. That is the oldest palette in my collection. So we're gonna kick that back out for the month, okay? Yeah, it's not like telling me, like doing like the big, there we go, there we go. My JD Glow Singles. Okay, so I thought I brought those out. Was it, was it April that I brought those out? One and Shadow Looks, love it. So, got that. See what else. I probably shouldn't have the volume on for this. ColourPop Little Ray of Sunshine. Oh, and that's perfect for August. I think I was actually debating on t bringing that out for September. We can bring in August. That's totally seasonal. And October, August is when all the sunflowers come out. Cute to Beauty New Nude. Okay, so let me grab these palettes and I will be right back. So oh, let's recap doing the fire palette, three looks, one palette video with that coming. And then I also picked up the Elf uh, Perfect 10 eyeshadow palette. Does it say what? Well, it doesn't say which one it is. Okay. But it's the one with the pop of blue and pop of purple. So I've used this a couple times already. I've been enjoying it so far. I'll do a more thorough review at the end of August, but I have that to play with as well. So we have the little ray of sunshine. Oh my gosh, this is like the perfect August palette. This is the most perfect. So I am excited for this palette. Really excited to be playing it with this month. We have my oldest palette, the Zulu palette, the nostalgia, the sentimentality of this palette. I have a couple pans in here. Oh my god, I have a couple pans in this palette. And actually, we have the orange and the yellow and the brown, and then this palette. Maybe I'll combine them. I know this was in an earlier month with this uh, project that I've been doing this year. So maybe I can combine a little bit of this. Maybe I can use the greens together or like the orange and the yellow in here with the green. Maybe do like a yellowy look with a pop of blue. Huh. Okay. Okay. We can, we can definitely make something happen here. We have the perfect one and done eyeshadows for me. Uh, oh my gosh. We have oranges in here and a yellow. We're going to be doing a lot of combination looks, but my favorite shadow in here is Anomaly, the one down here. I love Anomaly. Uh, this dark blue, which is called Watermark. Also another fantastic one. This is definitely for me like a pack on the outer corner kind of look. And yeah, okay, we got some good inner corner highlights down here. We have a red. Maybe we can do kind of a red to orange to yellow look. Okay. And then lastly, the weirdo of the bunch is the new nude palette. We're bringing back to the beauty. Again, I have a couple pans in here and I thought I hit pan in the pink glitter infatuated, but I guess not. So maybe I'll do some glitters this month. Maybe I will. Let's actually compare it to the rose quartz palette. Let's do a comparison because these are my only two Huda palettes. So yeah, they're way different. This is this is definitely more lighter pinks. This is kind of more richer. But okay. Alright, I ain't mad about this. I ain't mad about this at all. I if the fantasy cosmetics
Cosmetica, Druid palette, and which other palette do I really want from them? I think the Sorcerer palette, like, when Fancy Cosmetica comes out with more palettes or when their palettes go back in stock, I'll try to hopefully get my hands on them. So I don't really have any expectation of picking up any additional palettes in August because bringing in the Yucca and the Rose Quartz palette, I felt very overwhelmed and I didn't really get to focus on my other palettes that I brought out in July. It's very easy for me to be overwhelmed when I have to bring in a lot of palettes. So hopefully I don't pick up another palette in August or hopefully it's like at the tail end of August that I can't use it until September. So those are the four palettes I'm be focusing on dominantly. I feel like I have my mind made up on this palette so I don't know how many more uses I'm going to get out of it. But I'll definitely recap on this one. So far so good with this. Uh, I do really enjoy it for what it is so far so I'll definitely be doing a more thorough review at the end of the month. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Give it a like and subscribe and stay tuned because hopefully, hopefully in August is the month where I get my life together and start being productive back with YouTube again. Let's make it no excuse August. <laughs> no excuses for August. So thank you so much and as always, have joy.